Come at y'all with a little print for dread tutorial. You feel me? Now, I made one a uh, couple of months ago. Don't look at that, please. But, um, so yeah, man. So, we just gonna hop right into this shit. All right. When you first start off your free form dreads, there's three methods that you can use. You can use the sponge. The fuck is what? You can use the sponge. You can use a rag. And you can use your hand. You feel me? So, look. For the sponge method, what you want to do is that depending on your hair length, you want to take the sponge, you know, sponge your shit every day. You feel me? Just keep sponging it and twisting it. You feel me? And with the rag method, same same type of thing. Instead of a sponge, you use it like a damp rag. Not no super wet rag or no dry wet. A damp rag. You feel me? So you want to take this and just rub it all throughout your hair. You feel me? And it's going to create these little tiny coils, and which is going to eventually grow into your freeform dress. Now, me, this is the method that I use. You feel me? Since my fro was too long to start off with using a sponge and a rag, what I did is that I would pick my hair out and I would take my hair just like this right move on here to the side i have some hair sticking out right here and i take this and i just consistently just twist it and twist it and twist it you feel me and then eventually it was going to go ahead and lock up See, now me, I got started on my free form dreads late, you feel me? My my fro was long. Man, check this out. Look how fucking long my hair was. Bro, I did not know my fucking hair was this long. My nigga, what the fuck? Look at this shit, bro. I was not hip. God damn. So yeah, my hair was pretty long to start off with free firm dreads, you feel me? So I had to just like pretty much put in a bunch of dedication and time and work to like get it to where it is now, you feel me? And then also with the hand method is, I see a bunch of people that take like, that do the two, the two strand twist method, which is basically is that you kind of doing the same thing, but you just section off your hair, you feel me? Then you take like two strands of hair and then you twist it. It's like how you do a twist out with braids, but you just like twisting it and you just like leaving it alone after that. You just letting it grow. When you do get your hair twisted to the kind of amount that you want, like let it grow after that see i know people that make the constant mistake after they twist their hair they get the plan with it and shit because they think the shit look cute when it's short hell no nah, bro you need to let your hair grow after you twist it don't touch it my nigga damn near don't even look at it and then for all my niggas you feel me uh girls see you with your hair twisted and shit that when it coming to your head and touch your fucking hair i had this shit try to happen to me you you be like you be like hey shorty you gonna have to back up like don't don't touch my hair you know what i'm saying because it's going in the future it's going to look better don't touch my hair you feel me i remember when i first started my dress hoes try to come into my shit why you twist your shit man touch my fucking head what's wrong with you because shit if i touch your weave we gonna we gonna be fighting all right all right then but yeah, man, don't don't let nobody touch your head and you yourself don't touch your hair after you get it twisted because that's the whole thing of free firm dress. You you twist your shit and then you let it grow. You feel me? You don't keep touching it. When you get to the point where your hair starts to lock up, you want to add in a couple more twists. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and do that. That's what I did when my hair was like shorter. Um, when it started growing to like become the shape that it's in, 
uh, I twisted it just a little bit more because in the future, I know what it was go what I wanted my hair to look like. So that's another thing. You got to keep a vision on what you want your hair to look like. Now, some people, when they use the sponge method, you feel me? Sometimes they want their hair like mat like messy. They don't want it. It's dreads, but they don't really want it to look like my dress. So they just sponge it, and then it get it start locking up. It has, it has some uh, dreads like starting to lay down, but it's just mostly joint together. That's how people like theirs. In some other cases, like me, you feel me? I wanted my dress to be just a little bit more organized so you can actually kind of say that they dress. Because then people who not hip to the sauce of free form dress coming to you just be like, man, what the fuck you got going on in your head? You got to be like, nigga, it's free form dress. Now, I'm going to give y'all a little tip. Um, do not, now please, do not wash your hair super duper frequent if your hair is not locked. Now, if you come to the point where you just feel like you gotta wash your hair because it starts smelling funny or whatever here's what i use y'all looking at me like i'm crazy and surprised like ej man what the fuck yes do rag if you want to wash your hair and your hair not really locked up all the way and you trying to keep it maintained when you wash it simple this i i I gotta do the same thing because not all my dreads is like locked up to like they lay they locked in a mid section but when you get to here they're not fully locked so until they get locked you feel me here's what I gotta do take the do rag tie that bit on just like these I ain't about to tie the whole thing you feel me I'm not about to do the whole thing tying that in my head but you tie it in your head before you uh do that you can put your shampoo on your head then put the uh do rag on top or if you you don't feel like doing all that, you just tie the do rag on, put shampoo, rub it through your throughout your hair, and that's it. I do either or; it don't really matter. What people don't realize is when you got your free firm jerseys and you wash your hair, you feel me? Um, that actually causes your hair to like lock up and like harden up just a little bit. You feel me? It causes your dreads to like dread up and be more solid. You feel me? That's what people don't really know. But yeah. Don't wash your hair super duper frequent because eventually it's going to be like your hair won't have enough na of the natural oils to actually put your, like, put your hair together for it to become more hard and nappier, you feel me? Don't wash it fucking every week, you feel me? If you my color black, you feel me? Don't wash your hair every single week because your shit going to be fucked up. Here's what I prefer. Wash your hair every two to three weeks if you know how to take care of your hair your hair should not be fucking stinking and all that other shit if you if your hair be stinking and be dirty but in only two or three weeks that's tough my nigga say goodbye then what you want to do after that is when your hair start to lock up you feel me let it grow just like the earlier part of the tutorial you let your hair grow because when you keep messing with it, the dread won't get get a chance to just harden up. Because when you go in, you go in the mirror and you think you looking fucking sweet and shit. You trying to look cute for some hoes or whatever, bro. Nigga, your hair is gonna it's gonna be like be disrupted. And now the little hair strands that was started to get pushed together, you gonna spread that shit out and that shit gonna have to restart all over again. Now, if you try to get your dreads like mine and like quicker, um, when it constantly grow. You do like a half retwist. Re and when I say that, you get you some locking gel. You take that. And what you want to do is that you want to take each dread and just like twist it, twist it, and twist it. You feel me? And then when you twist it, you get you a duck bill hair clip. You feel me? Put some locking gel on the little dread. You feel me? And then after that, depending on how tight you want it is, when it's tight enough, you just clip it. Leave that mug alone. So I'm gonna just go ahead and uh make a video about showing them showing my free form dread journey, you feel me? Like trust me, my shit looking nice right now, you feel me? But the thing about it is it's not to where I want it. Like I want it just like this, but I want it to spread out more, you feel me? That's why I'm not doing no retwisting no more. I, yeah, I'm not doing no more retwisting, you feel me? But yeah, if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And can we please get this video to about 15 likes? Because my last video, 
other videos, y'all got me 15 likes. My last video, y'all couldn't give me 15 likes? Damn. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, I catch y'all in the next one. Pop it, pop it, sip it, A corn, rich, nigga on A one, baby, knockin' it A con, baby, but a P con, breaking out, I wanna refund, breaking out back till I see the sun, I put the bitch on the jet, keep him and get on the net.